So, I've uh, spent the past couple of minutes pulling a gamma sample with my Radax Obsidian. So we can take a look at what this is and what it's actually made of in a second. But before I do, I'm just going to show you what this actually is. It's a test sample. It's been purchased from United Nuclear. And it says it's just some norm, naturally occurring radioactive material, which means it should be you know, limited to thorium and uranium and their decay chains. It is pretty spicy. So let me ask we get kind of closer here. Get some beta now. And alpha. It's pretty active. I mean, it's a toasty little sample. Apologize for my voice today, too. I'm getting over something. Alright, so we'll put this back here. And we will update this. So, we have this spectrum footprint. Which is really weird, actually. Wish I could, uh show you more of the screen. It's kind of blurred right now, unfortunately. Yeah, this is, uh, it's pretty wild. It's got a lot of energy up in here. You know, we don't usually see a lot of energy in the 7s, 800s, 900s. It's pretty weird. We get a lot of energy up here most of the time anyways. This is where the, uh, little kind of Compton smashing thing happens. Pardon my terminology, I'm not really fluent yet. You know, I do know to look for a few things on here. I think we have, yeah, right in here, we have a um, U-235 and radium spike. So there is definitely some norm in here. Get a little little bit of a peak there. Um, probably a thorium peak somewhere is in here, too. Uh, it's like 93, 95. Yeah, a little peak right there if you want to you kind of see it right there. So, I mean, this whole thing is pretty cool. I'm pretty new to this, and this is not the best scintillator, but it's, it's good enough to identify some basic stuff. I think a lot of this fuzz would be a little more identifiable, if not. But I have a feeling that there might be some things in here that aren't norm, necessarily, because, I mean, just from radioactive rocks I've scanned in the past, and, you know, like uranium marbles, I don't normally see this in here. It's usually kind of mostly up in here. But if uh, anybody knows specifically what I'm looking at or what's in those uh, particular test cards, I'd love to know more about it. Um, I'm not sure if my unit just doesn't have enough resolution to properly identify what's in here or if I'm not very good at this yet. But uh, this is what it picked up, and if anybody has any insights, I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.